All right, pre-AP biology students. Uh, today, um, you guys that are quarantined at home. So this is this video uh, is only uh, for those of you who are either quarantined or you're just sick today and you couldn't come in or something. Um, it's not intended for students who um, are at home because it's um, you know, an A day and the B kids are at home. So I really only care if you watch this video again if you're a quarantine kid. So uh, what I'm what I've done is in your uh, agenda today. Uh, there is a link to a chromosome activity, which if you'll give me a second, I'll pull up the main page. So if you click on it, it should it should look something like this, okay. And within that packet, you're also going to see, or should say, there should be another link um, that looks, I should say, something like this, where you have three different pages of chromosomes, okay? So it, it, that's what it kind of looks like, okay? So the, 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 the point of this project today um, is, you know, we, we, we've been talking a lot about DNA, and we've been talking a lot about chromosomes and you know, your cells making proteins and, and all this type of stuff. So we're going to kind of put this into a little, a little activity today and, and this week. And I want you guys to work on this at home. Now, if you're quarantined at home, if you have access to a printer, you can print this out and then you can work on the activity. If you don't have a printer at home, um, I'm going to leave copies of this uh, up front in the main office. So either you can come by and pick it up or have one of your parents swing by and pick it up. Just go to the main office and say, I'm here to pick up a packet from Mr. Trapeer. Um, if that doesn't work for you, then you can wait until you come back uh, from your quarantine and you can do this at a later date. The bottom line is it has to be done. All right, so if you're quarantined, I'll give you a little bit of extra time, but uh, that's about all I can give to you. You're, you're going to have to do this eventually. So let's read through this together. It says, you've been hired by TripTech, a leading genetic research firm in Northwest Indiana. Our job at TripTech is, is to provide families with genetic information about their unborn babies. Through careful observation of chromosomal karyotypes, we can let parents know if their unborn baby is healthy or has a genetic defect. We take tremendous pride in giving parents correct information. Any incorrect information can have disastrous results. After looking over your resume, we feel that you will be a welcome addition to our firm. Please look over the following packet for your first assignment. And I am the chief executive officer of TripTech Industries. Obviously, this is a made up company, but you know there are companies out there uh, that do this. You know Their job is to look at uh, any type of chromosomal uh, abnormalities, you know, in, in an unborn baby or in a fetus um, and, you know, let the doctor or let the parents know uh, if there's any, um, if there's anything wrong. For example, you know, let's say there's, I don't know, maybe a family history of uh, genetic diseases or genetic disorders uh, in a family. And maybe the, the mother wants to know or the parents want to know if, uh, there might be anything wrong with uh, their baby. I mean, for example, if, if a baby's born with, let's say, Down syndrome, you know, maybe the parents want to know that ahead of time so that they can plan for that uh, type of a type of a pregnancy, or, or you know, make sure they plan. You know, after the baby's born, that baby may need might need some, some special attention or some special care uh, that they need to plan for. So, you know, these are things that we can you know, we can provide. Uh, for the parents, we can provide them with this information. So what I've listed here on, on the next page is a list of possible um, chromosomal disorders. Um, you know, we talked about things like trisomies and monosomies in, in, the, in the previous unit. Um, so th this is just a list of some of these. I want you, before you start this project, to read through each one of these. A few of them we've talked about before. You know, for example, Klinefelter syndrome was caused by an extra X chromosome. So the, these individuals are XXY. So it, you know, it kind of gives you some symptoms, you know, a 
little bit about what the disease is about. You can always Google Google search each one of these and, and, and you can probably find out a lot more about it, but this is just a brief summary. But you, th these are the things that we're looking for, okay? Like some of these I've talked about, some of them I haven't talked about. Like I haven't talked about Edwards syndrome in class. Edwards syndrome is caused by an extra 18th chromosome. I haven't talked about X, Y, Y, so, but a few of them I did, a few of them I didn't. So again, I want you to be familiar with each one of these so that you know what you're looking for. Now, of course, you know, hopefully the baby is normal and we don't have to worry about, you know, telling the parents or telling their doctors that, you know, these, these symptoms or these uh, conditions occur or have occurred with their, with their children. Uh, but it is our job to find out if anything's wrong. Okay, so that's what we're being hired to do. So um, what you're going to do, okay, is I'm going to come back to this slide in a second. Y your job is to, is to look over, sorry, is to look over these chromosomes. So for example, like this is, this is a woman named Jess Armstrong. All right, now you, you've been given three women. All right, now the, these chromosomes, what I want you to understand, these chromosomes are not the woman, they don't belong to the woman, they belong to her baby. So for example, these chromosomes on this first page, these are Jess Armstrong's baby's chromosomes. It's our job to sort through these and find out if there's anything wrong with Jess Armstrong's baby. So one thing that you're, you're gonna need to do, okay, on this, on this page here in your packet, you see how it kind of gives you a picture of each chromosome, okay? So you'll notice chromosome one, this is what chromosome one looks like. Chromosome two, chromosome three, all the way through, it even shows you what an X and a Y looks like. All right, now I want you to understand that each chromosome is unique, all right? For example, the Y chromosome here, you know, looks a little bit different from number 22 and 21 and 20. They are all a little bit different. All right, it's your job to like really look carefully at the differences and sort them out. All right, now here's one, one thing you have to remember too. For example, going back to Jess Armstrong, you know, Jess Armstrong's baby will have two number one chromosomes, two number twos, two number threes. It's your job to find those pairs. All right, I, I, I tell kids that, you know, as, as you're doing this, maybe get a pencil and simply just write next to the chromosome what number it is. Um, like, for example, this big one right here, okay? This one right here, that looks to me like it's chromosome number one, okay? So I would write like maybe like a number one next to it, okay? And then find the other number one. Looks like it's, it might be right here, right? So put a little number one next to that one. Because what you're eventually going to have to do is you're gonna cut these out, okay? Just cut them out like in little rectangles or whatever. Uh, you don't have to cut them out like perfectly, just cut them out like little rectangles. And then you're gonna make a karyotype, all right? So for example, on this sheet where it says karyotype report, okay? At the very bottom down here, you're gonna put the patient's name. So this is Jess Armstrong. It's actually Jess Armstrong's baby. You're gonna figure out what the sex of the child is and you'll know that by looking at the karyotype. All right, so is it a male or a female? Uh, is there a chromosomal mutation? You know, if there's not one, then check none. If there's a monosomy or a trisomy, check those. A deletion means that there's a piece of a chromosome missing. Um, there is a disorder. If you look at if you look at the list that I gave you, um, where there's a portion of a chromosome that actually is missing. You'll know it if you see it, okay? It's very obvious, it's very distinctive, but if that happens, uh, check it. Uh, the name of the disorder, if any, if there's no disorder, just write none, and then potential symptoms. So again, go back to you know, this list here, okay? And, and just write out those symptoms for me. All right, but, but on this karyotype, okay, what you're gonna do in this big space, after you cut your chromosomes out, you're gonna paste them or tape them, whatever you have at home is fine. So for example, you'll, you'll glue your two number ones here. 
All right, then next to it, your two number twos, your two number threes, number fours, number fives, on and on and on. All right, so make a nice karyotype for me. All right, include, you know, if, you know, let's say, for example, the baby has Down syndrome. So your, your karyotype will show the three number 21 chromosomes, okay, if it's a Down syndrome baby. All right, but I should be able to look at the karyotype that you made and the karyotype report, the diagnosis, should match what you see in the karyotype. All right, so you're going to do this for three patients. So when you hand this in to me, you'll bring it back to me in class when you come back. And you're going to bring me back this, basically this packet, okay, with your three karyotypes. All right, again, use this as a way to help check and spot which chromosomes are which. All right, but again, there should be two of every one. Now, when you get to the sex chromosomes, right, if it's a female, there will be two X's. If it's a male, there will be an X and a Y. But if there's trisomies or monosomies, then there will be either be extras or possibly missing a sex chromosome. Like, for example, remember Turner syndrome? Turner syndrome is when you're missing a Y. So they have one X and they don't have another sex chromosome. So again, you've got to figure all of that out. This is kind of a way for you to practice karyotyping and understand what it is we're kind of looking for. All right. So again, if you're quarantined at home, you can either print this out, do it at home. You need scissors and maybe some glue or some tape. That's about all you'll really need. Um, if you want to pick it up here at school, I'll have some of them in the main office for you. If you want to uh, just do it when you get back to school uh, and pick it up for me, that's fine. I'll let you hand it in late. Um, but again, this is only for students who are quarantined. All right, you guys that are in group B, um, I will go over this with you in class uh, when I see you next. All right, guys, have a good day. And that is it for me.